Okay, folks, how many out there knows what this is? I'd say there's several, but some may not. This is a pawpaw, sometimes known as an Appalachian banana. And today we are gonna show you how to make pawpaw bread, kind of like zucchini bread, only with pawpaws. Stick with us, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, the first step is to get three full cups of pawpaw pulp. You have to peel the pawpaws, get the seeds out, and you just want just the pulp. We're working on that right now. Okay, there's one cup of pulp. Two more to go. What is it? All right, here's the third and final one. Now the process is to mash them up. You can use a meat masher or potato masher. You can use, I guess, a food processor. Just whatever you need to use to get them mashed up, but you want them to be extremely mushy. Okay, here's the mashing process. We're just using a simple meat masher to do it. Just want it mashed up real good. Like so. Okay, we're gonna start off with two teaspoons of baking soda. Step is to add two and a half cups of flour. One, two, and a half. The next step is one fourth teaspoon of salt. The oven has to be preheated, as you just heard in the background, to 350. Now the next step is to whisk it all together. The next step is you want two scant cups of sugar and two sticks of butter. You're gonna mix it up until it's creamed. Right, the next step is to mix it all up until creamy. And this is what it should look like when you got it mixed up and creamed. Okay, the next step is to mix in four eggs, one at a time. As you add them, you mix them in. There's two. And there's four. The next step is to add half teaspoon. half teaspoon of vanilla, and we're going to add just a little bit more because we like the way it tastes. Next step is to add the pop off pulp. We're going to mix it in good. Next step is to incorporate the flour, the dry ingredients, I guess you'd say. You mix them till they're just incorporated. You don't mix them too much. All right, you want to add some no stick to the pans, and then you'll add the batter or dough or whatever you want to call it to the pans themselves. the oven for how many minutes 40 to 45 40 to 45 minutes okay this is what they look like 40 minutes in the oven we're getting ready to dump them out and cut them up all right they come out perfectly we're getting ready to cut them and taste them this is the first time we've tasted them too all right here we go wow Look how tasty that looks. I'm gonna give me a little bit of butter and I'm gonna try that. Okay, taste test has been done. 
This is truly some good stuff. If you've got a pawpaw tree and you don't know what to do with the fruit, no better way than to put it to use in this bread. Pawpaw bread, definitely worth a try. I think you'll really like it. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you on down the trail.